In this video, I'm gonna give you a beginner's guide to using the Insta360 Go editing app. We're gonna look at three simple methods for using the app, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you're new to this channel, my name's Rich from Eat Sleep 360, and on this channel, you'll mainly find 360 video and photo tutorials, as well as hints, tips, and reviews for new accessories and new cameras. So let's get straight on and look at method one. So for this first option, we're gonna open up the app and select themes. In themes, we have three sections, life, travel, and sport. Each section offers several different preset edits. And if you look at the side of the thumbnails, it even tells you how many shots are needed to create each edit. So for this example, we're just gonna choose workday, which is the top theme, and seven shots are needed to complete that edit. So we click on that theme, and then we select use this theme, which is at the bottom of the app. All of the clips that are then stored in your Go album will be seen here. And at the bottom you can see several placeholders and each placeholder tells you how long each shot should be which goes in that slot. So the first slot is 1.57 seconds, the second slot 2.6 seconds and so on and so on. All the slots are empty and in order to fill them all you need to do is select the slot and then select the clip that you want to go in that slot. Once it's selected, it then moves on to the next empty slot. Once you've filled all your slots, then select preview and you'll see a preview of your edit for that theme. Now what we can do is select each individual slot and change the start and end point of that slot. And we do this by scrolling along the timeline at the bottom. Once you've gone through every clip, then you can just do another preview. Once you're happy with your sequence, then click on the tick icon in the top right hand corner. This will take you to an edit section where you can make further changes to your shots and your sequence. Because we're in theme mode, some of these options won't be available at this stage. If we want to at this stage, we can change the default theme music by selecting the drop down arrow in the middle. This will then bring up the music icon in the bottom left hand corner. Select the music icon and you can choose from several tracks provided in the app. And you can even edit the music if you want to. But for now, let's look at the main edit screen to see what options are available. So we have three main sections, tweak, tune, and cut. The first option that's available to us in the tweak section is reframe. Select the clip that you want to reframe and then select the reframe icon. And then as indicated at the top of the screen, push and hold in the middle of the shot and then you can drag the shot left, right, up, or down. And when you're done, press the tick icon. If at any point in any of these sections you want to reset your edits, then press on the three dots in the top right hand corner. This comes up with two options. One is flow state stabilization, which you want to keep on, and the other one is reset edits. You can't change the speed for the themes, so the next available option is text. Select which clip you want to add text to, and then push on the text icon. You can either have your title in the middle of the shot or at the bottom. So it says center for the middle, and then subtitle for the middle bottom. And you can choose between several different style fonts. Once you've selected your font, then click on the words in the middle of the screen and then you can change your title to whichever title you want. You can also change the colour of the font by selecting one of these icons at the bottom. If you want to change the volume of your shot, then select volume in the bottom left hand corner. So the next section is tune. The tune section allows us to change the look of the shot. So we can add a filter by pressing the filter icon and we can choose between all these filters here and you can change the intensity of each filter you select by sliding this yellow slider up and down. And you also have a beauty option, which you can have subtle, moderate or strong. The next icon in the tune section is adjust. Now in this section you can make finer adjustments to your image. So you can adjust exposure, colour temperature, contrast, saturation, highlights, shadow, tone and sharpness. You can adjust any one of these values by sliding the yellow slider left or right. And if you want to reset the slider at any point to zero, you press the little loop on the right hand side. Once you've made an adjustment to any one of these values, you can toggle it on and off so you can compare it to the original image by clicking on this icon in the middle here. Now the final section is cut, but a lot of the options we can't use when we're using the theme mode. We can't use copy, we can't use split, we can't use trim, and we can't use delete. So the only two that we can use are replace and start at. So replace is quite self-explanatory. So select which clip you want to replace, and then click the replace icon, 
and then it will come up with all of your clips and then choose which clip you want to replace it with. Start at is just the same as what we looked at earlier where you can choose where your clip starts. So if you want to make further adjustments to where it starts or you've made a mistake earlier on, you can just change that here. Now if we select the plus icon in between each clip, this allows us to see what transition the theme is using. And we can change that by selecting a different transition at the bottom of the app. You can also adjust the length of the transition here along the yellow slider. When you change the length of the transition, it then gives you a preview of the changes that you've made in the viewing window at the top. Once you're happy with all the changes you've made and you're happy with your sequence, then click the export icon in the top right hand corner. This will export your clip and save it in your camera roll and then you can share it with others using any of the icons below. This second method of editing with the app is the same as before but just with one tiny difference. So open the app up and select themes. This time we just choose the second theme down which is food for snacks, drinks or feasts where you need 21 shots to complete your edit. So select the theme and then click on use this theme. Now this time instead of manually selecting the shots we want, all we're going to do is press flash cut. Now flash cut uses artificial intelligence to select the shots for you. This is the easiest way to select the shots but I wanted you to be familiar with how to use the app and how to manually select shots, particularly because at the moment flash cut is a bit buggy, which you'll see in a minute. So select flash cut and then flash cut will populate all of the slots at the bottom. But here's where the bug comes in, it actually doesn't populate all of the slots. It tells you that the amount of footage is insufficient. Well I know that I've got probably 30 or 40 clips on there so I know that the amount of footage isn't insufficient. This is probably just a bug and it, no doubt it will be resolved in a later update. But now you know method one, you'll know how easy it is to fill the slots that are empty. So now just select the slots that are empty and then click on the clip that you want to fill those slots. And now once you've filled all the slots, preview your clip, decide if you want to make any further edits like we did in method one, and then export your clip. So now we've looked at the first two methods and you're more familiar with the app, we can look at method three. Method three gives you total flexibility and opens up all the functions to use in the editing app. So open the app up and this time instead of selecting themes, we're gonna select my stories and then click on create a story. And then at the bottom you'll see a pop-up menu and select go album. This takes you to your Go album in the app where all your clips will be stored. Select which clips that you want to use. For this example, we'll just choose a dozen clips. And then we go back to this screen, which by now you're all familiar with, which is the edit screen. But now all of the options are available to us. So now in the tweak section, as well as being able to adjust all of the other features, we can also adjust the speed. The tune section is the same as before. But in the cut section, this is where we get to use all the features of the app that weren't available to us before. If we select a clip and then press copy, the clip then copies itself to the next available slot. If we select split, you then go to a screen that enables you to choose where you want your clip to split. So you're splitting the clip into two pieces. Click confirm and then the split will appear in the next box next to the original clip. By selecting the trim icon, this allows us to edit the clip to make it shorter or longer. So select the trim icon and then the icon on the left allows you to select the in point of the clip, so where you want the clip to begin. And then the icon on the right allows you to select the out point where you want the clip to end. You can now delete clips if you want to by pressing delete and then confirming that you want the clip deleted. And then the other two features are the same as before, so we can change the starting point of where we want the clip to loop from. And we can also replace a clip by clicking the replace icon. Now remember we haven't chosen a theme here so you're going to have to put in all the transitions in between each shot but we now know how to do that. So we select the plus icon and this will bring up the options for what transition we want to choose from one clip to another. But there is now another option here that we can use which is the add media icon. Now this feature is really useful because it allows you to bring together different edits and edit different sequences together. So not only can you select them from your Go album, but you can also select them from your phone's album, from your camera roll. Now I'm not sure the exact format that the app wants to see these clips in, or the maximum duration of the clip that you can import, because some clips I've had problems importing and other clips I haven't. You're just gonna have to experiment, and I'm not sure why some clips go in and some clips don't. 
Also, when we select Add Media, we can also add a title to any given clip. The title will appear at the beginning of the clip that you've selected. Type in your title using the keypad, and you can switch between subtitle and center to change the position of the title. And if you select these icons at the bottom, you can change the color background of your title. And you can select the duration of how long you see the title for by using the duration icon here and using the slider to adjust the time. Your sequence at this stage will also have no music. So to add music, we do what we did in the previous method and we select the music icon and then choose from the various tracks available. I hope this tutorial has given you a good foundation of knowledge and the confidence to get on and start using the app to edit your own videos. The Go camera and the Go app is new to me as well. So if I've missed something or if I haven't explained something clearly enough, or if you've got some hints and tips that you want to share with other viewers, then please leave me a comment. If you've learned something new, please give this video a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.